Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I feel like I haven't done a reaction in so long. But tonight, today's video is going to be a reaction video <laughs> to August Alcina's new song called Entanglements. Um, this has been like the word of the week. Uh, Miss Jada Pinkett Smith said that her and August were in an entanglement. And, you know, it's just been all over social media. Now, my thing is, is, I don't know how the hell him and Rick Ross done came up with this in a week. Like, I mean, people can write songs, like, you know, over a short period of time, of course. But, like, have it like, how? But you know what? Whatever. I'm assuming he's going to be putting out his feelings into entanglements. But didn't he even agree that it was an entanglement, though? Because didn't he say, like, oh, that's what it was or whatever. Like, he agreed. When he spoke to, like, Angela Yee, if I'm not mistaken. Like, he agreed. So, like, I don't know. Uh, I mean, that was before the table talk, I think. Yeah, but he agreed but, at the fact that... I think he agreed with what she said, though. I don't think... This isn't his first time coming out afterwards. Like, I think I he know. agreed with what she said. So, it's like... But my good... Hey, he capitalizing the hell off of this. And I ain't gonna lie, Jada and Will did, too, with the Red Table Talk. And now he came out with a song. So, they making money off of us being entertained. Um, so, I don't know what the hell I expect from it. I used to love his music. I'm not saying I don't. I just haven't, you know, paid too much attention to it in recent years. First album, Flame. But anyways, I don't know what the hell to expect. <laughs> Honestly, I don't either. Yeah. Aside from it being about entanglements, but that's yeah. not it. So, um, <laughs> oh God, I hope this isn't bad. So, let's just get into Entanglements by August Alsina and Rick Ross. Ricky Rose. Oh God. Special <laughs> opening. What is that beat? What is that beat? That's from that song Ball by T.I. Bro, did you hear it? Yes, it is. But I don't know if he sampled it. I'm going to replay it. Do you hear the little in the background? You hear that, right? Yeah. Okay, now just listen to this right here. That used to be my song. I used to listen to this every day. That. It's the same thing. But I don't know if, if he sampled that, but I just know the song. But anyways, continuing. I had to figure it out. <laughs> Can you say what's the definition of entanglement? It's when we tangle in the sheets. <laughs> Is that what this man just said? Entanglements, August, Alcina, Rick Ross, Ricky Rose lyric. Aha! Found it! The definition of entanglement, it's when you tangle it. I was right. Okay, continuing. I ain't gonna lie, I sound like a little vibe. I'm not gonna flag. Sound like a little vibe. Entanglement sound good. Yeah, he made entanglement sound very good. Like, I was like, I'm gonna sound entanglement. Like, wow, okay. Like, if you see me, you're a trick. But my thing is, is 
not like. But did it Jada and Will? Well, because they have two conflicting stories, I think. Because August is basically saying that they had a relationship while she was still with Will, right? And then, well, at least that's what he initially said. And Jada and Will came out and said that they was on a break, they was separated, whatever. And but he's saying like, if he see me, he's gonna trip. But why would he trip if they wasn't together? But I don't know. The two different stories, so I don't know. Like they have two different perspectives, obviously. It's just, huh? I know, but they. Are, I think everybody kind of sometimes has two different perspectives when it comes to things. So maybe that's you know they felt one way, he felt another. You know, that's crazy. Yeah. First of all, I can still make good music. Like he made this into a great song. I'm downloading because I'm not gonna flag. <laughs> the toxicity sounds great. You know, I wow. <laughs> he said he had the key to her crib. Oh, <laughs> you my little secret. <laughs> No, it's wrong, but it feels right. <laughs> wow. Yo, hold on. I just want to go back to this line. Rick Ross's verse. Shoggy leaning on my shoulder, got a question in my willpower. Yeah, Rick Ross said, I'm telling you, all, you know what I was going to say? I feel like August had Rick Ross throw all his subliminals. Because what in Rick Ross's verse... He threw in Tupac, Tupac, Willpower, like... Jaded by her beauty. Yeah, when I saw Jaded, I was like... And in the Matrix. Yeah, I was like, y'all not slick with y'all wordplay, like... Um, but like, let's just be 100 and let's keep it real, as real, um... You know, the song wasn't bad. <laughs> like... It was... Listen, he but, made the team sound good. Yeah, but, you know, it's like, I feel like people are going to be like, wow, like, we could be in an entanglement, but, like, I don't know. <laughs> but I actually, like, really like the song, and I do like the fact that, you know, he could put his feelings into a song, whatever. I always say this with artists. I love when they can do that, but, like, he's really profiting the hell off of this. I ain't going to lie. He's going to get my coin a little bit because, like, I may listen to it, like, one, two, three, five, eleven times more after this because, like, it was low-key good. Um, Wow. I, you know, I have to give, I have to give this song a 10 because I feel like it was good, but at the same time, what I like about it, this man really took, he said, you want to call it an entanglement? Bet. I'm coming out with a song next week called Entanglements. Weird. He re he done made that very quick, but like, they really profited off of each other's stories. No, for real. Like, like, think about it. Like, August came out to his piece, you know? We was in an entanglement, whatever. No, we was like, whatever. Then Jada was like, I'm taking my taking myself to the red table. And then she went and it caught an entanglement. And August said, a what? Bet. I'm going to make a song. Like, what's next? Like, <laughs> all I'm waiting for is Jada to make a red table song reacting to August's song about me. <laughs> like, I just... You know what? We need to move at this point. You, you see no, I... <laughs> But, like, I honestly give it a 10. Like, the whole thing behind this is genius. Because people are going to stream it to hear what he has to say. Even though he's low-key repeating what he has said. But, I, the song isn't bad either, by the way. I'm probably going to listen to it again. That's good R&B right there. Entanglements, you feel me? But, like, <laughs> jaded willpower. I said, woo! Wow. What are your thoughts, your opinions, your feelings on this, K-Money? Okay, um, this song was definitely a future levels of toxicity. Actually, not. Nah. Ruben started levels of toxicity because this feels like the start of 2004, except I'm not sorry. But, yeah. um, <laughs> it, the marketing behind this song is just perfect because... Incredible! Incredible! It, it, makes, it makes you think that it was done on purpose. Yeah, it really this does. Be it the really greatest does. marketing campaign ever. But I don't think he needed to do this on purpose because he had. Because I was gonna say it's like if he had an album coming out, but he dropped an album a few months ago, right? No, he dropped the album like right as that whole interview happened. Really? Hold on, let me see. I still don't right. think there was any malicious intent. Cause like I like I said, like if it was an album, then okay. Like this should have blew up then. He didn't have to come up with a whole extra single, but then again it is weird how it was done, produced, mixed, everything in one week, but at the same time it's possible, right? It's possible. But like he dropped the album on June twenty sixth. He the did? June twenty sixth? Yeah, the, the interview happened on June thirtieth. 
August assumes she did sweetie. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. It's this close. It's it so is, mean. but I, you know, regardless of if the situation is something um, related to like a PR stunt, I still think that real feelings were involved and were played with. Um, so, you know, sure. yeah, I think it's good that he was able to put entanglements into a song, but like, damn. But what do you rate this? I would give this, honestly, it's in. It's, it's not bad. <laughs> it's Bro, crazy. it's not bad, and the whole thing around it, like, this is smart as shit. People are gonna want to listen to it. I feel like people are already getting tired of the situation, but people are gonna want to listen to it to see what he has to say, but he turned that shit into some beautiful ass music that i will be listening to a little bit but i don't know um what do y'all think y'all let me know because it's been a crazy week um well not even two weeks i think when he came out with it and then but she did they did the red table talk and then it's been a week yeah because red table talk was like last week yeah last friday yeah insane that was the shortest one I think she did too. I was like, girl, I needed the whole 30 minutes, the whole 20 minutes. But anyways, 20 minutes. let me know what y'all think down below. Um, Cause this is insane. I really wonder if they're going to say anything about the song. Like you think? Probably not. Yeah, because yeah, they're very, I feel like they're very private, obviously. Yeah. But anyways, so let me know down below what y'all think. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Um, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. You know what I found really funny about this too? It's like how Pastor my Pastor Michael Todd was saying how he was gonna name like so today because it's Sunday. It's supposed to be named in Tang <laughs> and August I'm, I'm dropped. Ready for that message. Yeah. All right. Bye. Yeah. yeah. Thank you.